Although I'm living in my car now, the ultimate goal is to achieve financial freedom. Owning an RV has always been my dream, and I think my dream has finally come true. Well, at least not today. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Drifting Into Freedom. So the RV show was one of my favorite events. I mean, being able to see and actually touch my future van was pretty cool. First one up, the Winnebago View by Mercedes. This is a Class C, and you can have this lovely, lovely van for the price of $157,427. Overall, beautiful leather seating. And if you have a guest up here, we have the sleeping area. Here we have some space that could possibly even be used for dining or just a really cool place for your guests to hang out. A pull-out bed and to be honest, I don't think I'm going to attempt to pull it out at all. <laughs> Over here we have the kitchen area, nice size sink. Storage space. Over here we have the microwave. Here we have the stove. The refrigerator for the most part is pretty standard size for an RV this size. Up here we have the controls and some more storage space. And over here, we have the bathroom. Nice little cute sink. A basic toilet. At this point, I'm gonna see if I can fit in the shower. Let's see how much space I'm gonna have. Okay, so far so good. It looks like a decent amount of space to me. Okay, so the last attempt for the bed. And it's a no-go! Ah! <laughs> Next up, we have the Passage Midwest. And for the lovely price of 177963 you can have this at a nice discounted rate. Up here we have some nice leather seats. The song playing on this radio is a No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. And a little fun fact for you, Midwest Automobile is famous for diamond stitching. Not bad. What do you think? Over here, we have the fridge and the kitchen area. As you can see, it's very tight. I'm almost afraid to even walk any further. Here we have the bathroom a sink, basic toilet. Here 
we have some storage space. Over here, we have the stove. Is it me or does the lounge area seem a little tiny? Definitely does. Here we have some storage space and a microwave. But for the price, I wasn't really impressed with this van at all. Here we have the Winnebago Era by Mercedes. For $148,199. In front, we have beautiful white leather seating, lots of storage space. First thing I noticed were these chairs sitting here looking a bit awkward, which I didn't really like. The kitchen area, again, to me seems a little bit tight spaced. Over here, we have the sink, stove, and fridge. And here we have the bathroom. This one seems to have a lot more space compared to the other one. Here's some more space to put your items. Here we have the living room. For the price, I wasn't really feeling the van, especially with all the tight spaces. So I can definitely mark this one off of my list. Next, we have the Talaro by Ram, and this is a Class B. And you can have this lovely, lovely van for $101,833. Overall, this was probably one of my favorite vans, and you'll see why. So, so far, I'm loving the kitchen being placed here. It sort of gives the van a lot more space. As you can see here, this van had a lot of storage space, which is a must-have for me, especially since I would be living in my van long term. We have the fridge at the bottom, microwave, with a stove. We have some storage space here. Overall, beautiful white leather seating. the back area, sleeping area, living room, or whatever you want to call it, was my absolute favorite. I didn't feel crammed in here. As you can see, this van has lots and lots of space. It even has a fan at the top for those hot evenings. Now we're going to head over to the bathroom. We even got ourselves a little assistant. Over here, you can wash your hands. Here we have the table. And above that, we have a shower. And of course, this wonderful toilet. It's starting to get hot, so let's go inside to see some more vans. Wow. It's like van life heaven. <laughs> wow. Nice. 
Next on our list, we have the Pleasure Way Recon. Here you can have this van for the lovely price of $137,500. And judging from this black leather interior, I'm loving it so far. Over here we have the bathroom. Shower and toilet. This was kind of weird. We have the fridge over here and the bed right here as well. Talk about convenience. So if I ever get hungry during the night, I can just roll out of bed and grab something out of the fridge. <laughs> and of course, we have lots of space to store something like maybe a bike. And over here, we have the sink, which was awkwardly placed if you ask me. So overall, I'm definitely not feeling this van at all. It just seems too awkward to me. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Next up, we have another one of my favorites, the Ethos by Ram. As you can see here, it even has its own awning, which is great for those hot summer days. With the kitchen area being placed here, it seems to give the van more space. What do you think? Here we have the sink, stove, microwave and fridge. Overall, the front interior on this van would be perfect for me, especially because of the leather seats. Up here, we have a place to store your items. And lots and lots of storage. We have a ceiling fan. So, not bad. Back here, we have the bathroom. Table and a sink. Basic toilet. More closet space. So, so far on my list, Ethos definitely has my eyes. So I'm definitely loving this. And for the lovely price of $107,795, it can be mine. So gotta start saving those pennies. This is the Solace by Ram. And what I like about this van is the tent is actually on top of the van, which is great, especially in terms of privacy. If you have people over and if you're looking to add this to your Christmas list you can have this lovely Ram for the price of one hundred and seven thousand nine hundred and twenty nine dollars although I didn't like the steps being located here it just felt too tight here we have the front more storage space Okay, I'm kind of curious, so let's give these steps a little test. Overall, not bad. Lots of sleeping space. So I'm pretty impressed.
Watch your step. See why I don't like those steps being there? <laughs> Here we have the kitchen area, fridge, stove, and sink. We have some more storage. locked bathroom another pull out bed that I'm definitely not gonna attempt to take out although I do love the tent on top of the van for me it just lacked a lot of storage space for me it wouldn't work long term so I'm just gonna voice over this part because there was some music playing in the background and I definitely don't want to get a copyright strike overall one day I'm going to buy me one of these RVs. One day. So tell me down below, what was your favorite RV? And have you ever thought about riding in a hot air balloon? Well, check out my next video, cause we're going up, up and away. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as we drift into freedom together. See you soon.